It's time to destroy some more stuff. Abris, World 4 Erosion. Starting off with a catapult, it looks like. Just gonna go right in. Let's do it. So what do we got here? I've got 12 ultra heavy cubes, two heavy beams, and three connectors. Interesting. So these are going to power these launchers, I guess, maybe? Is that what's going on here? So I need to can't build stuff out here. Oh, it's even showing me. Yeah, it's going to push forward. Okay. So we need to drop the blocks down. Um, uh, okay. We just put this like that and then stack all the blocks on top of it. And hopefully it'll tip over. Let's see if that works. Might be that simple, actually. Uh, yeah, let's just see. Is it going to topple? No. Okay. So we need to make it topple. So a connector. Let's throw two connectors on there. With the other heavy beam. That should knock it over. I, th I think. There it goes. Okay. Boom. Wow. It launched those. Okay, let's watch that from a better angle. Okay, there they go again. A boom. This is violent and destructive. Fantastic. Okay. Some kind of catapult. And we're an expert. Awesome. Okay. Use cannons to reach far away targets. There's an actual cannon. Okay, so these, okay, so I have to launch the cannon to hit this to power the pushers here that are going to launch the blocks into this. Okay, this is wild. Okay, so we have a cannon. Make sure that's lined up. There we go. Then we have one heavy beam. Two pillars. How do we get these over there? This beam. Can I stack it on top of this? Oh, actually, center is nice. Then we can use connector, connector. Well, the connector is going to break it. Uh, let's use one ultra heavy cube as like a base point. And then use heavy pillar, like we want it to fall down this way and then put two more cubes further forward. I think this might work. Okay, so hopefully those will drop in there and we got to launch it. We hit go. Well, it took down my gun. I think it was a little bit tall. Okay. Reset that. But maybe if I launch the gun like immediately, I want to rebuild it. Oh, but it launched too early. Well, it launched something. Oh, that was not enough. 
Okay. I can use the connectors here now. Let's see if that does anything different. It'll make them fall faster, hopefully. Okay. Got multiples launching. Got one! Oh, but not that one. Okay. We need these to fall faster. Let's really, like, push these blocks to the edge. Do the same on the other side. Alright. Let's go again. Well... Whoa. Well, that one hit the target. The other one bounced out, though. I wonder how consistent it is, or if there's some randomness in here. Oh, well, I guess there is some, like, based on when I launch this. Okay, okay, this might be it. Yes. Ah! Oh, come on! It was there! Probably a way that I could redo this, but I'd rather not rebuild it if possible. Okay, I wonder if this is going to be the same as last time. Looks like it's far. Yeah, it was too far. Didn't go left that time, though. So let's come kind of random as to it. Let me, let me rebuild it. Let's do something else. Okay, let's see if this will work. This time, I put the cannon down here on its own. Actually, I can probably move it forward. Now, oh yeah, I have to make sure it's lined up, too. Okay, so these pillars are supporting this big connected structure that hopefully falls through and then just sits across all of them. We'll launch all of it at the same time over rather than the individual blocks. So let's see if that. Okay, fell into place. Beautifully. Okay, and then we launch. We fire the gun. Okay. If, if this doesn't do it... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Destroyed. Okay, next. Armored shells protect from cannons. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. We have five cannons, three beams, eight connectors. So I guess we want to build a firing line. Because maybe these will drop down. Once we take out the connecting pieces. Well, let's try that. We put the beam. Connector. Beam. Connector. Beam. Okay. Then the cannon. How lined up is this? It could be a block higher. Okay, so we place the connectors where we need to fire and it's from. And you look at like all of the targets. This one, it's like here. Okay, those two are just further back and then, okay, yeah, we just line the middle. 
with the other three and blast that whole thing. All right, let's test. It kind of dingles a bit. So this is one. And yeah, that takes that out. Okay. The next will be fire number two. No? Oh, they only get one shot each. That changes things. Okay, we need to rebuild. Okay, now we've got two on the edges. So we need to... Make sure we have the right one. So we'll fire three. Okay, so we use three. This one got all shaky all of it. Okay. Next. Oh, the other pe the moving piece is gone now too. What happened? So we fire this. And then fire this one. Man, destroyed all the red things. Okay. I'm gonna retry it and see if that happens again. Okay, so we fire this cannon. No. no. Oh, pieces hit it. And that really, like, it weighs it down. I see. Okay. So pieces hit it, so it... Actually is plausible that that happens. Okay. So then, which one's my center? Okay, we probably have to fire this a little early, because the bullets have... Okay, we'll test. So it's like a one second delay. There we go. Nailed it. And then the last one. There we go. I think that looked more like it was supposed to. And mission accomplished. Did I do better this time? Oh, closer. Next. Arm. Okay. No more new pieces, I guess. So this time, I have a bomb. I have a rotator, seven cubes, nine connectors, and two heavy beams. Um, okay, so this... Oh, interesting. So we've got a blast shield. Anything down back there? No. So this is an ultra, like, uh, anti-gravity thing. We have to destroy this. But also this. We don't have rockets to go at it. I think this laser beam destroys stuff. Let's just test it. Put the bomb on here too. Oh, I guess that's not gonna... Ultra heavy cube. We have to make it fall off. Then, yeah, we drop the bomb too. Ooh, I, I, I think I might have an idea. I don't know if that'll work, but let's test this first. Okay, the laser is more off to the side. Okay, let's try that again. Yes, laser incinerates stuff. Hmm, okay. So I am now noticing there is this lit up path here. Shows we might be able to like push it like a button. A rotating, like a big rotating arm. But we also would need to like launch the bomb. Once, so once we don't have gravity, we just need to hit the bomb in that direction of this structure and then detonate it once it gets there. So counterclockwise rotator. Mm. We we don't like. We don't get to turn it backwards. We're going to have to be able to push the bomb while hitting this. Okay, let's... 
angled downward. I have to use the free cam for that. Switch back and forth. Connectors and heavy blocks. Need to go just a little bit lower. Goodness. This camera, I, I, I struggle so much with the camera. I cut a lot of it out, but it's... It's a struggle over here. Okay, so it's possible that this block falls off onto this. Maybe I need to move this further back, but... I think that's an idea. So if we drop this onto there, let's just see if that works. Huh? It worked, but what? Okay, and then it... Oh, because it went anti-gravity. There wasn't time for it to settle, so it's just... All hanging there. wonder if adding more weight back here might help it. But then there's also, like, once I hit the rotator... What happens then? Yeah, and then we use that to push the bomb. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's going to launch above it. So how do we push it straight? I have more connectors. Yeah, I think I set that one on the ground. Maybe? Might just like rock it all sideways. Yeah, that didn't blow the bomb. Made the anti gravity, so. Hit the rotate again. Did that blow my bomb? Yeah, that blew my bomb up. Why did it blow the bomb up? Did it hit the... Okay, so we have to watch that. Okay, so... When this rotates... Okay, it hits the ground, because it kind of kicks back a little bit. And that's where it blows. Okay, so we need to change this up a little bit. Let's just attach the bomb to this piece. Okay, that piece broke off that time. So this is going to break and go in. Maybe I need to build it all closer to this so it doesn't rotate as much. Oh, it still blew the bomb. Because it, like, buckles. How do we fix that? I guess we make the joint more rigid. Throw these last two pieces there. See if that helps. The, the, whatever, like, it moving like that is doing. Causing it to do different things when the block falls. So, it's still. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. That piece went flying, though. Just gotta figure out, like, what gets the bomb there. Let's put the bomb here. Or there. And then it'll just be like free floating. Okay. Oh, then it's just going to fall. Let's see if I can just use this heavy beam to hit that. So we put another connector there. Then put the B. And now this will fall into that. Still have an ultra heavy cube. Okay. Wow. Are you serious? It's not letting me reset, saying no parts left? Okay, I guess I gotta restart and rebuild it. That sucks. Okay, I have this built a little simpler this time. 
And this is only set to destroy this. This whole piece should fall and I'll break up. Um, then I guess we test that and see when I rotate. This is also closer to the beam. Like how it like goes. It's still going to wobble probably though. Let's yeah, that falls. Breaks all that. We're at zero G now. And then I guess we let this sit for as long as we can tolerate. And then so this whole bottom piece is connected and it's going to be much higher up. So it's not going to hit the bottom. Um, and so let's rotate and then that's going to go flying. It still looks like it's going to go up. If the bomb is attached to that, oh wait, like that hit broke the whole back structure of it. But it's zero gravity, so it's just going to keep like, maybe, look at this. Is it going to work? I don't think it's got to, no, it just bounced right off. Have to use the bomb in zero gravity. Okay. So it looked like the top edge of this piece right here is what scraped it. So we can try to connect the bomb to that. Okay, let's see if we destroy it. Ooh, that piece disintegrated this time. Okay. And zero gravity. Let that chill. Need the path to clear up. Okay. So then let's... Shit. And detonate. Boom. That was a massive explosion. Wow. That's so cool. Okay. I want to watch it again. Okay, so go. Let that thing destroy that. Okay, so this block goes flying this time. So we're just going to launch it. Know where it's going. Oh, it hit the other block. Oh, <laughs> oh man. That's fun. Okay, that was a much more fun use of the zero gravity than the uh, rockets. Good stuff. A 4-5 raft. Okay, so it looks like we have a piston launcher thing back here. That appears to be powered by this. We have two cannons. Uh, we do get ultra... Er, Hmm, wait a second. Yeah, this looks like maybe it's shielded from the back. Raft. So it goes zero G once this one gets hit. Then we have to destroy these two pieces. Okay, and it, it's going to push all the way out here. So we have to shoot the right side first, then shoot the left side. I wonder if I can shoot this from the back. And then once it's zero G, this will push the whole structure down through this, hopefully. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, zero G requires this one too. Or maybe just one? I don't know. It's got two things to it. Unless we do it in two separate phases. Hmm. Yeah, this appears to be about the height that we need. I'd rather, uh, maybe I put two connectors here. Brace this from both sides, if I can see it. There we go. Then I can put this heavy beam here. Centered. Then I have a cannon. Whoa. 
Really? That's a button? Okay, there's a reset button that I just found out about. That's that's awesome. Okay, so let's see what the different buttons do. It looks like those might need connectors. Okay. So this one is two. Okay, that does make zero gravity. And then I launch this one. Then it launches all the stuff. Hmm, but I didn't blow them. Okay, so we need more debris in the launch. And we have plenty more pieces. Let's just, like, load this up. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so we'll hit the... Anti-gravity first. Then this one. Then launch it all. But it's not hitting those. Why aren't those destroying? Try attaching stuff to the back of this. Okay. Now I have this whole structure attached to the back of the... A rear-facing cannon. Oh, and it wants to fall really bad. Okay, so let's fire this cannon. There's our there's our anti-gravity. Fire the other one. There we go. Now the pieces fell. Okay, so now it's not hanging as much. It's all just underneath here. Still gonna be heavy. And this time, I'm going to see what happens if I launch both cannons. Or let's launch this cannon first. And then just before it goes, launch that one. Still, it's got it's to go directly through them. Since it wobbles, this could just be a... Try it until it goes kind of thing. So let's do that anti-gravity one first. It like destroys the oh we got him we got him we got him let's go so I was right yeah it's it's just gotta get the piece to go through it right on two to go expert All right or six ride okay I think I, I I think I get it already. So we have a pusher. We have to activate. Does it push the whole thing? It only shows the bottom, but when I hover over this, it lights up this top piece as well. So it might send this whole thing. And then we need to procedurally eliminate targets with our eight cannons. And that thing's going to launch quickly. I guess first, let's see what happens when we push, the, like, hit the button. Okay. And here's... It missed. I guess let's give it some ultra-heavy cubes. I'll pull it down. Huh? Missed again? Okay. Build it over slightly a bit. And try again. Okay, let's make it taller. Okay. But then the whole thing moves. And it's it's like a giant piston, so it's kind of slow. But not too bad. How far does it go? 
Okay. We can do that. Alright, so that piece is there. Um, there's also one above it. Put another cannon there. And these appear to be at the same level as that one. Okay. The three up. Okay. Now it's all built. Built a whole like row for them along the side. These two had to be pushed out a little bit because the one right behind it. Uh, and then I had an extra one that I just connected to this connector back here. Gonna be a little bit taller, but should be okay. Time to see if this works. Here you go. Got a lot of cannons here. We want to fire one and two at the same time. And then these go backwards, kind of. Let's fire one and two. And then I guess we just time these. Yep. Yep. Hit. Oh, and it goes back. Alrighty. Works for me. Okay, level seven gunship. Okay, it looks like we've got anti-gravity on. So we probably have another, like, piston thing. We gotta get it through there. We have to shoot targets on two different sides. And it looks like, are these... We might need to hit those as well. Five cannons, two bombs. But with the anti-gravity, we blow this up. Maybe this is a multi-stage process. Yeah, this is going to be a multi-stage process. The first. We need to, like, I honestly don't know why this needs to be here at all. Because this just could be going. And then we build the level from that. Rather than having to set up and, like, initialize the launcher. Let's do that. And then we can clear that. So now we build something that will launch the bombs. Then we have to time it. Let's just put them between two connectors. Let's see if that'll do the trick. So I click go. So am I only going to get one launch? Hmm. Well, that definitely makes things way more difficult. So we're really going to have to do it all. So we have to launch this first. We have to hit this first thing. And then it's going to launch whatever structure I build here. And then it has to get through the gate. And then I have to, I can launch, if I space them correctly, I can hit all four guns at the same time. And then the whole thing will hit this, and then we blow it up. With the bombs. I think. Yeah. Let's, let's try to make it work. Right, we actually gotta build a gunship, I guess. Like, it um, presents itself. Okay. So, it almost looks like the height of these... Pieces are hard to see, but um, 
height of these looks like a little bit higher than this one. So I probably need to build that at least one layer above. The lighting does not work well with the free camera either. Okay. So since I'm, I'm thinking since we're on zero gravity, the bottom didn't need connectors. So I just put everything together. This should push it all as one conjoined unit. Whether or not that actually works, we'll find out. Um, and then we've got one, two, three, and four of our blasters. And then the bombs are on the back that will hopefully be able to detonate once it crashes into there. One way to find out if it works. Appears to be a no. This structure appears to be sitting fine off the start. So we haven't launched anything, haven't done anything. Cannons, it's all it's all a lot like much neater in here. And then there's a connector at the bottom here. I had extra blocks, so I got these on the front. And then same with the back. I put an extra piece here that'll be a push piece. And just slapping things wherever I could with the connectors. And then the bombs are attached to the back. Try again. All right. So we first have to hit this. Okay, we have to get through here. And then we have to... to th oh, I fired too early. Four, five. And then... Six, seven. Okay, so I just have to line it all up. Hit one of the targets. Alright, can I zoom out more? Alright, that's... Probably going to be as good as it gets. I'll just put it here. So I launched that when the doors like were opening. Yeah. Okay, so we hit go. Wait for the doors. Okay, hit one. Okay, and then the ship's gonna come. It hit them all. I think so. It, it made a mess. Yeah, I think I got them all. Awesome. Only 65% destroyed. Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. Let's do it one more time because it's so much fun. Okay, one. And here it comes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like I destroyed it all that time. I made sure I detonated late, so I hit the piece in the back. Let's see if that was better. 91. Expert. Yahoo. All right, back to menu. I think that's it for World 4. Yep, that was it. And so we got one more left. So in the next video, we will take down World number 5. So I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving it a like as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss the last video. And yeah, see you all in the next one. Cheers.